Hi there. Now, in the previous video, assuming that you watched it, I showed you how you'd go about integrating by parts functions like this, only it was just x, say, times e to the 4x. What I want to do now is show you how we go about handling ones where we've got, say, x squared now in the front rather than just an x. Essentially, we do it much the same way as we did before, but it involves just a little bit more work. What I said to you before was that we would call the x or the x squared u. Okay, so we'll just label that u. And this part here is dv by dx. So just put that in there as dv by dx. Now you've got to write fairly small when you're doing questions like this because as you'll see as it unfolds, there's quite a lot of lines to do and they're quite long. So according to the formula here, it's u times v. So we've got u then is x squared and v is the integral of dv by dx. So if we integrate e to the power 4x with respect to x, that's going to be 1 quarter e to the power 4x. Okay, then it's minus the integral, and then we just copy this bracket in, okay, because that was v. So we got minus the integral of a quarter e to the 4x. And then we multiply it by du dx. So we need to differentiate x squared with respect to x, and that's 2x. And then we integrate all of that with respect to x. Next line is to clean up. Okay, so we've got x squared times a quarter. That would look better as x squared over 4, although you could leave it as a quarter x squared if you want. And then that's e to the power 4x. And then we've got minus... And here we've got 2 times a quarter, 2 quarters, which is a half. I'm going to pull the half out the front of the integral, okay, being a constant. And then we've got the integral of x e to the 4x, okay, so x e to the power 4x, and all of this is integrated with respect to x. So, next line, okay. Just copy that first term out again, x squared over 4, e to the power 4x. Now, we've got minus a half, and we've got this integral here to cope with. But what we've got here is essentially the type that we handled in the first video. It's still integration by parts. So, we'd have to do it all over again. Let the x be the u. Okay, so put that as u. Let e to the power 4x be dv by dx. And since we've pulled the half out the front here, all I need to do is set up a square bracket, say, and we just carry on integrating this by parts in the normal way. So it's going to be u, which is x, multiplied by v, v being the integral then of e to the 4x, so that's going to be a quarter e to the power 4x, and then it's minus the integral of v, so we just copy that bracket back in again, quarter e to the power 4x, and then it's multiplied by du by dx, so u is x, if we multiply that by the differential of x with respect to x, it's just going to be 1. And we integrate all of this with respect to x, and then close off the bracket. Okay? Next, what I'd encourage you to do is just to tidy this up, okay? And by tidying it up, I would suggest you multiply through by your constant out the front here. So you've got minus a half times the quarter, which is going to be minus one eighth. And then you've got multiplied with the x there. So I could have written minus x over eight. In fact, I will. Okay, it saves space there. And then you've got e to the power four x. And then we've got minus a half times minus this integral. 
So it's going to be a positive value and the half times the quarter here will be one eighth. So we've got one eighth. Pull that out the front of the integral sign and that just leaves us with the integral of e to the power 4x. So as I say it's a good idea just to clean up at this stage here. Okay. Next all I need to do is just work out this integral here on the end. We'll just write in the first two terms. Okay, x squared over 4 e to the power 4x there minus x over 8 times e to the power 4x. Now when it comes to integrating e to the power 4x that's going to be a quarter e to the 4x times it with the 1 8th and you've got plus 1 over 32. Okay and then it will be e to the power 4x and then not forgetting the constant of integration plus c. Now I could leave it like that or I could just put this all over a lowest common multiple of 4, 8 and 32 and that's going to be 32. I also notice that they've all got e to the power 4x in okay so I could write e to the power 4x then divided by 32, put that in front of a bracket and then if we start with this term here I need to multiply 4 by 8 to give me 32 so therefore it's going to be in the bracket 8 and then I need the x squared. For this next term here I need to multiply the 8 with a 4 to get the 32 so that's just going to be minus 4x and the last one, well I've got the 32 out the front here and the e to the 4x so I just need to say that that's plus 1 and then close the bracket and then we got plus c. So we've got a quadratic factor here. Just check over mentally whether this is going to factorise but it doesn't, it doesn't factorise any further so just leave it like uh, that, okay? Well I hope that's given you some idea on how to handle these ones where you've got say x squared. You're just going to need to use integration by parts clearly again. So give yourself plenty of room to be able to set it out neatly. Okay?